Hello friends, today I'm going to be solving a problem from lesson one from the book Ordinary Differential Equations by Morris Tenbaum and Harry Pollard. This problem is pretty simple. It's not even really an order, a differential equation. It's sort of just to get the reader into the, to see how it is that these equations are derived. It's actually a, a different kind of problem. It's a simple algebra problem for the most part, little logarithms. But essentially, in the reading, you're given this formula right here x is equal to e k t, where it's sort it's it's the carbon fourteen radiation decomposition formula, if I recall. Not so important. But yeah. It tells you at what rate certain molecules decompose. And question number one goes as such. It gets, says for <clears throat> that a piece of lead decomposes at a rate proportional to the amount present, which is what we see here. If 10% of the radium decomposes in 200 years, what percentage will be present after 1,000? So we're given a few variables. We're given at T is equal to 200 we're left with 10 percent of what we have and then we want to solve for t is equal to 1000 so if we know that there's only 10 percent only 10 percent decomposed i should clarify i might have made a mistake there and that means there's 90% left after 200 years. So the way to write that is it's 0.9 for 90%. A equals to A E K 200. So simple enough. A is cancel. We're left with 0.9 is equal to E to the K 200 for the time and in case you're wondering here why this is the case this solves for how much is left as a whole value but if you know what percentage is left then it's just a percentage of this value a so you can write it in this formula and it makes it much simpler the a is just cancel out so now we have from here we take the natural logarithm of both sides Taking the natural log of E just gets rid of it. Um, if I recall, there's a negative here that I forgot to write down. Yes, there's a negative there. So, my apologies. Let's go into the negative K 200. So we get K is equal to. Yep, K is equal to this negative natural log 0.9 over 200. I'm just double checking my work here just to make sure I got it proper. And then from here, now that we have K, we can substitute it into this T is equal to 1000. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to erase some of this. We have our K. We're now solving. We're now also trying to figure out what percentage is left. So we can write it again as some percentage of A is equal to A, E negative negative so we end up with natural log 0.9 over 200 times 1000 a's cancel out we end up with e natural log 0.9 over 200 times 1000 and this is just equal to 59 
0.05. So after a thousand years, you are, you're only left with 59.05% of the rate of the lead. Um, the book gives you the answer. I just figured I'd write down the solution proper in case it was kind of unclear as to how to derive that. But that's it. Next time I do a problem from this book, hopefully it'll be a proper ordinary differential equation. But if not, it'll be fun to solve either way. So if you have any questions or any suggestions for other problems to be solved, feel free to comment. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Thank you.